Welcome to my channel and my video. If this is your first time here, my name is Kaz and I am recovering from anorexia. I'm not completely weight restored or recovered regardless of how I may appear. And I wanted to discuss the subject of all in recovery. Apologies, there is I think a motorbike outside and you may be able to hear it. All in recovery seems to be really, really popular right now. Literally, any time I search for anorexia recovery on YouTube, lots of accounts come up of people who have done all in recovery. And I have to say, it does look amazing. It, it sounds incredibly difficult but people who have done it and come out the other side do seem to really be thriving. People like Tabitha Farrar, Ro Mitchell, Emily Spence, Brooke Pantain. There are lots and lots of people out there. Um, if you don't know what all in recovery is, in a nutshell, it is honouring your hunger and eating what your body is asking you to eat. It's not the same as binging. It's not mindlessly stuffing your face with anything you want to eat. You eat and then if you're still hungry, you acknowledge that hunger and you eat some more. And whenever you find yourself feeling hungry or thinking a lot about food, you have something to eat. But it is it is a mindful process. It's not just whatever is in the fridge, just, you know, devour the lot. I personally think if you can do all in recovery, it is certainly the way to go because although the weight goes on quickly, you reach a stage of physical health sooner and you can just get on with the rest of your life. Whereas if you recover, in a more staged and slow way, it can take a lot longer. And I guess as well with the process of all in recovery, it forces you to do the neural rewiring in a way that a more planned recovery might not. It's easy if you have a meal plan to stick to what is on that meal plan even if it is not enough food and your body is telling you, I want more food, I'm still hungry. You may tell yourself or indeed be told by professionals, it's not on your meal plan, you're not having it. And it can be really easy to become weight restored without doing a lot of the neural rewiring. If you become weight restored, only eating your safe foods, you haven't learned that fear foods are not to be feared and that it's okay to eat them. And that's what I'm guessing at. However, I can't do all in recovery. I tried and it went really, really badly. The reason it didn't work for me is because I am a binge purge subtype. So the line between eating to satisfy my hunger, my physical and mental hunger and binging is so narrow and so blurry. I can tell what the difference is. One is mindful, one is not. One is considered and one is chaotic, but that's not enough to stop eating to satisfy my hunger, becoming a binge. So when I tried all in recovery, I just binged and purged way more. And if you are somebody who has the binge purge subtype or you have bulimia, and you have successfully been able to do all in, then please let me know because I would love to know 
if there are people out there that have done it. I'm sure it is possible. I also live by myself and I'm pretty sure the four people I mentioned earlier all lived with family or boyfriends, partners when they were doing the all in process. And I think if you don't have anyone else with you, it's incredibly difficult. The reason I'm making this video is because of the prevalence of accounts advocating the all in method. I want people to know it's not the only way to recovery. I also believe that meal plans can be useful under certain circumstances for short periods of time. But I think there is too much reliance on meal plans, which can be very, very prescriptive. And they don't take into account things like extreme hunger. People can be told that binging is bad. Binging is not bad. Purging or compensating is bad. But for me, if I binge, I cannot stop myself from purging. I've got to stop myself from binging in the first place. And I'm working on that. But I have had to do a much more slow recovery. And if it's something you have to do as well, there's nothing wrong with that. If you can't do all in, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I know Megsy Recovery also didn't do all in because it was not for her and she is not a binge purge subtype. So it just won't work for everybody. And I think when it comes to recovery, it's very much finding what's going to work for you. I think another misconception about all in is that it cures you completely and that's it. And it doesn't. I do know that Tabitha, because I have read her books and I love Tabitha. I think she is great. She is straight talking, no bullshit. And that is what I like. But she herself admits she did not need any sort of therapy. I don't think I need any sort of therapy, but you might need therapy. And I would hate for people to think that the all in method is the key to recovery. It could be part of the key, but you may need other help alongside it. All in can weight restore you and do the neural rewiring. You can't have a healthy body and an unhealthy mind and be recovered. You need to work on both. The all in method is also not without its medical risks. If you are someone who could be at risk of refeeding syndrome, it's really important that you have medical supervision. I do think if you want to go for all in recovery, you just need to go for it. Don't spend time dwelling on it and thinking about it. If you are going to do it, just get it done. Because if you spend time procrastinating, you give your eating disorder time to talk you out of it. I do have an episode on my podcast about my approach to recovery because I haven't been able to go all in. So I'm not going to just parrot it all back in this video because I've already said it. If you want to hear it, you can listen to it there. But I guess I just want people who can't do all in for whatever reason to realise that that's okay and it's not the only method to get better. I just want to show that you don't have to have a full team of professionals behind you either. 
you can get better on your own. It's going to be really hard. But if you really want it, you will do it. You will find a way to do it. If you want to see more videos along these lines, I do have a playlist of mental health and eating disorder videos, which I will link to at the end of this video. But for now, thank you for watching and take care. Bye.